The federal government has expressed its commitment to develop and strengthen human capital resources by institutionalizing early child care and prompting girls' child education. The Minister of Education, Malam Adamu Adamu, made this known in Abuja at the 2018 Commonwealth Day with a team towards a common future. Adamu said Nigeria will continue to partner with other Commonwealth states to address the scourge of terrorism and other global challenges including poverty, environmental degradation, climate change and communal conflict. Well, if we are together by a sense of shared history and by the principles, values and ideals enshrined in the Charter of the Commonwealth, member states show great resilience and they display strong unity. According to the Charter of the Commonwealth, members, the membership is a voluntary thing for all the members. Each is responsible for its own policies, consulted and cooperated in the common interest of its people and in the promotion of international understanding and world peace. He said the Commonwealth is expanding opportunities, creating networks and leakages, and assisting disadvantaged groups and fostering integration and competing bond of friendship. The shared values that bond us now has created the strongest organization, the strongest association that is voluntary, the strongest association that is not forced by anyone, but which we all embrace because of the ideals enshrined in the Charter. Adamu therefore urged Nigerians to join hands to create a prosperous, united, and corruption-free Nigeria where peace, harmony, and justice reign. Speaking earlier, the Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Mr. Solomon Dalong, urged the federal government to invest heavily in the education sector. Dalong said that unity of the country will remain a merry dream unless there is a platform to engage youth. To further promote this, our two ministries need to collaborate to encourage sports-based scholarship by tertiary institutions of learning to enable youth engage in sports to pursue an education while at the same time, same time practicing their vacation. Dalon said there was the need to recitate school sports to further strengthen the national integration and building bridges and fences across the country. He added that the government should consider bringing sport activities to unity schools as it will raise leaders of common sense. Commonwealth Day is mostly celebrated every second Monday in the month of March by 53 nation members across the world. Omoli Timothy, Liberty News, Abuja.